So I went there from 2011 to 2014 in the whole of Lee County. And then that's when I ended up in Big Sandy, 2014. My date is like 2000, the beginning of 2016. I don't get indicted the three years I was there in the shoe. I'm still not indicted when I'm on the yard at the time, so I'm thinking I'm going to go home. You feel me? And they come back. I get a letter saying, pack it up, go to R&D. And that's when I knew my heart started racing. This was it. This was the one. Let's talk about the hole. Three years in the hole. Uh, you might have been in the hole at Lee County longer than probably anybody else. There was another dude that was back there for a long time, Big Man. Big Man was back I, there. I, 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 was on, I, I was on a tier with Big Man. I, I remember Big Man from New York got a tour with the CO. I'm I'm uh I'm in contact with him on WhatsApp. I'm in contact with Big Man. I'm gonna try to bring him on this week. You, you, you tell Big Man you just talk to Freeze. Watch what he tell you. Big Man's doing it. He's in another country. He's in England. He's in England. They deported him to England. What? Oh man, man, I know Big Man. Me and Big Man did some time on that tier together. Get a hold of him, man, this week, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna plug you two in. So anyway, you're in the hole for three years in Lee County. What's it like to be in solitary confinement in a hole for three years, man? Man. To be honest with you, that was like, man, like you one of them other things where you had to conform, especially in Lee County when you can't flush your own toilet. So that was the thing in Lee County. You can't flush your own toilet. The toilet thing was on the outside. And you got to wait on the cop to come flush your toilet. And if they like five or six times. Right. And they want to be an asshole, you know they'll leave it. They ain't gonna flush it. So tell the people what it's like when they don't flush the toilet. Let's say you got a celly. Your celly takes a shit, and they decide they don't like you today. They don't flush your toilet for eight hours. You got to sit in this little room the size of a – you're living in a bathroom that someone took a shit in, brother. What's it like? Man, it's rough. Now you got to learn how to psychologically get by this, so we start putting Kool-Aid in the toilet. Taking the Kool-Aid packs, start saving the Kool-Aid packs from the trays just in case, you know what I'm saying, you got to use the bathroom. You can at least try to cover it up and make it smell like Kool-Aid as much as you can. You gotta make that shit smell like that purple Kool-Aid, like great. 